In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of One Piece races. As we journey through the Grand Line alongside Monkey D. Luffy and his crew, we encounter a rich tapestry of diverse races, each with unique attributes and intriguing histories. One Piece doesn't just captivate us with its thrilling adventures and compelling characters it also offers a profound exploration of themes like racism and unity. With the series edging closer to its conclusion, we're uncovering more secrets about these races and their notable members. Join us as we explore the incredible diversity within One Piece, from the towering buccaneers to the mysterious Oni, and learn about the pivotal roles they play in this epic saga. Keeping up with all of them can be a hassle, which is why this list includes all the races in One Piece along with their most notable members. Buccaneers, First Appearance, Chapter 233, Episode 151 Buccaneers are an ancient race of people who lived during the Void Century. They were taller and stronger than humans, making them excellent fighters. However, the world government nearly wiped out the race. According to the evidence made public by Oda, the Buccaneers committed a serious crime against the world government, prompting the organization to massacre them mercilessly. So currently, only two members of the race have been identified, Bartholomew Kuma and his father. After learning about the two, the world government quickly enslaved them. Kuma's parents died in prison, but his misery persisted Kuma escaped from captivity only after the God Valley incident occurred. Prominent members, Bartholomew Kuma made a reputation for himself with his power. He ate the Nikki Nikki no Mi, resulting in the formation of paw-like pads on his hands. This allowed Kuma to deflect incoming attacks, send people away, and relieve physical suffering in his own and others' bodies. Wotan's First Appearance, Chapter 309, Episode 210 Wotans are a hybrid race. They're a cross between giants and fishmen. As a hybrid race, they have some qualities with both races. They are much larger than humans, but not as massive as pure giants. Pure giants, such as Orz and Adrudan, are still larger than Wotans. The Wotans' fishman DNA provide them with incredible strength and the ability to battle freely underwater. The combination of these skills gives the Wotans far greater power than regular humans. The series' only known Votan is Big Pan, a member of the Foxy Pirates. It's possible that fans will see more Wotans before the series ends. Prominent members, canonically, Big Pan remains the only living Votan. However, in One Piece film, Strong World, another Votan called Sebastian was a member of the World Pirates. Oni, First Appearance, Chapter 795 Episode 736 The Oni are a strange race, with nearly little known about them. They haven't been formally introduced in the series yet, but there's no doubt that they'll be confirmed as a separate race sooner or later. There are only two known members of this race, Kaido and Yamato. Yamato is known as the Oni Princess, indicating that she is a member of the Oni race. The two of them share one thing in common, their horns. Their heights differ significantly, with Kaido standing much taller than Yamato. Because there is no further knowledge about this race, it is difficult to predict what other characteristics are unique to the Oni. Prominent members, Kaido and Yamato are the only known members of this race. Kaido was a Yonko who was well known over the world for his strength. Yamato, the son of Kaido, was a formidable fighter in his own right. Kinokabito, first appearance, Chapter 847, Episode 812 Almost nothing is known about the Kinokabito other than their appearance. They have humanoid features, but instead of two legs, they have four. Their bodies resemble mushrooms, and they appear to have tall caps on their heads. The only time a Kinokabito appeared in the series was during the whole Cake Island arc, when Big Mom was reading her book. Prominent members, despite the fact that the series has entered its last arc, fans have yet to witness Kinokabito. Humans, First Appearance, Chapter 1, Episode 1 Humankind is One Piece's most dominant race. The series introduces various tribes, each with their own unique history for example, the Kuja are famed for their hockey, but the Kumate are considered ferocious. Humans establish the world government, which rules over One Piece's world humans, by and large, are terrified of other races and treat them with contempt. Prominent members, given their large number, it is impossible to name just a handful. The first names that come to mind are Luffy, Shanks, Zoro, Sanji, and Mayhawk. 
Sky Island Residence, First Appearance, Chapter 238, Episode 153. The Sky Islands were first mentioned during the Jaya Arc, when the Straw Hats attempted to find their way to Skypea. The people who live on the Sky Islands vary from ordinary people. They had initially lived on the moon, but due to a lack of resources, they decided to depart and settle on Earth. The majority of Sky Island residents have wings on their backs, although there are a few outliers. For example, Enel carries drums on his back. Prominent member, Enel is unquestionably the most well-known Sky Islander. He holds the Goro Goro no Mi, a Logia-type devil fruit that gives him the ability to manipulate thunder. Giants, First Appearance, 96, Episode 45 Giants are undoubtedly the most powerful race in One Piece. Giants have human-like characteristics, but they are far taller than the average person, and because of their massive height, they are extremely strong. Older Giants, like Ors and his offspring, resemble demons and are referred to as ancient giants. Newer giants, such as Hadrudin, Dori, and Bragi, have a more human-like appearance. The giant's home is Elbaf. In the New World once the Egghead narrative concludes, fans will most likely discover more about this ancient race. Prominent members, One Piece fans have seen their fair share of giants throughout the series, but Dori and Bragi stand out as the most prominent. They are both extremely powerful, and their combined strike was enough to sink the Victoria Punk. Longarm Tribe, First Appearance, Chapter 498, Episode 392 The Longarm Tribe, as the name implies, has long arms due to the presence of two joints in this area of their bodies. Their long arms provide enormous strength, making them physically stronger than humans. Scratch Menapu, captain of the On Air Pirates and a member of the Worst Generation, is one of the long arm tribe's most well-known representatives. He possesses a devil fruit, which transforms music into a terrible weapon. Prominent members, the long arm tribe does not receive the same amount of representation as the other races. They still have two solid characters, Apu and Joseph of CP0. Lunarians, First Appearance, Chapter 925, Episode 918 Lunarians are a powerful race of people that used to reside along the Red Line. Due to the world government's hunting, the number of Lunarians decreased dramatically, to the point that they were considered extinct. The world government even offered a reward to anyone who could provide information regarding the Lunarians' whereabouts. Lunarians are physically strong and possess the capacity to create and manipulate fire. The only known representative of this race is Kaido's right-hand man, King. He is equipped with the Ryu Ryu no Mi, model, Pteranodon, an ancient Zoan-type devil fruit that transforms him into a prehistoric beast. It is also one of the few devil fruits that allows the user to fly. Prominent member, the world government hunted the Lunarians for their strength and brutally killed them. King is the last surviving member of this race, having been experimented on by Vegapunk. The Seraphim, regarded as humanity's most powerful form, were created using King's lineage factor. Fishmen, First Appearance, Chapter 69, Episode 31 Fishmen, like minks, possess all of the characteristics of the fish they resemble. Fishmen are claimed to be ten times stronger than humans, making them an incredibly formidable species. Their strength grows further underwater, providing a huge advantage. They also have the ability to manipulate water, which allows them to practice fish man karate. Humans despise fish men and frequently attempt to kill them because they are distinctive in appearance. Jimbei, Arlong, and Fisher Tiger are examples of fish men. Prominent members, humans treat fish men to a wide range of brutalities. This race includes several notable One Piece characters such as Jimbei and Fisher Tiger. Fisher Tiger rescued the slaves in Marihoa and became famous all around the world Jimbei is currently a member of the Straw Hat Pirates, with a bounty of more than 1 billion berries. Mare Folk, First Appearance, Chapter 195, Episode 306 Mare Folk vary from fish men in that their upper bodies are human-like, and their lower portions have tails. Male Mare Folk are known as mermen, while females are known as mermaids. Merfolk, unlike fish men, are unable to walk on land however, when a mermaid reaches the age of 30, her tail transforms into legs, allowing her to walk. Mermen, on the other hand, keep their tails throughout their entire lives. Merfolk are the fastest swimmers due to their fish-like characteristics. 
Merfolk are not only fast swimmers, but they can also speak with fish. Prominent members, Merfolk, like the Fish Men, live on Fish Man Island. King Neptune, Shirahoshi, and Fukuboshi are well-known Merfolk. Shirahoshi is the most crucial of the three, as she is an ancient weapon capable of bringing the world to an end. Minks, First Appearance, Chapter 498, Episode 392 The Mink Tribe is a unique group of creatures that can talk and walk on two legs like bipeds. Each member represents a specific animal and shares all of its characteristics. Minks are powerful warriors with the ability to use electricity. Minks also have a special form called the Sulong, which can only be employed during a full moon. Minks become more wild after shifting, resulting in increased speed and strength. Some minks lose control when using the Sulong form and must be tamed by others to avoid wreaking widespread destruction. The mink tribe had an important role in the Wano country storyline. Several minks traveled to the land of the samurai to free it from the beast pirates and Orochi. The most renowned members of this race are Inurashi and Nekamamushi, the former rulers of the Makomo dukedom. They used their strength to defeat Jack and Charlotte Parasparo in Wano. Long Leg Tribe, First Appearance, Chapter 651, Episode 570 The Long Leg Tribe members are likewise quite human-like, however their legs are exceedingly lengthy, rather than normal-sized. Their long legs make them taller than the majority of the races in one piece. Long Leg Tribe members' kicks can cause a lot of damage due to their particular traits. One important disadvantage is that their large legs make a good target. Long Leg Tribe members are well known for their designs and talents. Currently, there are six characters from this race. The Long Leg Tribe's most recognizable members are Charlotte Smoothie, Tamago, and Blue Gilly. Dwarves, First Appearance, Chapter 711, Episode 640. Dwarves are quite little and have fluffy tails. They also have human-like traits. Despite their size, dwarves are quite powerful, as shown by their fighting prowess in the Dressrosa arc. The Tantata tribe of Dressrosa fits into this category. They have extensive knowledge of plant biology, making them outstanding growers. Doflamingo abused their work ethic by imprisoning their princess. This also ensured that the Tantata would not make any dumb decisions. Prominent members, Tantata tribe members were introduced in the Dressrosa arc, where they helped the Straw Hats battle Doflamingo. Leo, Mancheri, Bien, and Kabu stood out from the crowd. Three Eye Tribe, First Appearance, Chapter 651, Episode 571. Members of the Three Eye Tribe are difficult to identify from ordinary humans since they share so many characteristics. Humans in the Three Eye Tribe differ only in that the latter have an extra eye on their forehead with their extra eye, they can use the voice of all things and red pong glyphs. Charlotte Pudding is a member of the Three Eye Tribe, and Big Mom attempted to read the road pong glyph through her third eye. Unfortunately, she was not prepared to use the ability, earning her Big Mom's disapproval. Charlotte Pudding is the sole known member of the Three-Eyed Tribe. She is currently in the hands of the Blackbeard Pirates, who abducted her during their invasion on Whole Cake Island. Blackbeard hopes to use her abilities to evaluate the road Ponglyphs he obtained from Trafalgar Law. Snake Neck Tribe, First Appearance, Chapter 827, Episode 786 Members of the Snake Neck Tribe have long, thin necks. Therefore far in one piece, members of this tribe have shown no unique skill with their necks, therefore it is reasonable to conclude that they are simply long. This tribe has not been extensively studied since its full introduction in the whole Cake Island storyline. Prominent members, as of now, all Snake Neck Tribe members are tied to Big Mom. Charlotte Amanda is the most prominent member of this race. Other known members are Charlotte Maunder and Charlotte Effler. Summary and Highlights In the world of One Piece, there are various races with unique physical characteristics and abilities. Some of the most notable races include Sky Island Residents These people originally resided on the moon and possess wings on their backs. Enel, a prominent character from the Sky Islands, has the Goro Goro no Mi Devil Fruit, which allows him to control thunder. Giants this race is considered the strongest in one piece, with human-like features but much taller than ordinary humans. They have a great deal of strength, and their home is Elbaf in the New World. That's a wrap on our exploration of the various races in one piece. 
We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world created by Ichiro Oda, where each race adds to the rich and diverse tapestry of the series. As we move closer to the end of Luffy's journey, we can only expect more exciting revelations and deeper insights into these unique characters and their backgrounds. If you love this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Leave a comment below on which race you find the most fascinating and why. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Thank you very much for visiting the Mutual War Review YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our review analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy. What is One Piece anime? One Piece is a manga and anime story about a young boy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to be the king of the pirates in the world. As a child, he eats a devil fruit, a strange plant that makes him able to stretch like rubber. Before the show starts, Luffy goes out into the world for the first time and starts to gather a group of pirates. The main group grows over time, but it starts with Luffy, Nami the Navigator, and a swordsman named Roronoa Zoro. At some point, Luffy and his friends are known as the Straw Hat Pirates, and they go on many exciting adventures across the ocean. One Piece is a lot of fun because it's silly. Luffy goes from island to island around the world in the series. Each island has its own setting and theme. It's a pretty fantastical world full of animals that look like people, live skeletons, and other delightfully strange things. Within moments the group is in a winter scene, and the next they are on a tropical island full of giants. The show is full of silly and bright details. For example, Zoro holds a sword in his mouth, a scary military boss wears a cute bulldog hat. And people don't use phones to talk to each other instead, they use special transponder snails that can send and receive messages. Luffy is a carefree person who just wants to eat a tasty meal and laugh at bad jokes. Even though there are some funny parts in the series, a lot of One Piece is about freedom. During his travels, Luffy often takes up guns to help his friends and encourages others to do the same against pirates and government-backed military occupations. The characters in Luffy and his crew get stronger with each fight, which is typical for shonen manga. A lot of the story is about how Luffy beats a problem that seemed impossible to solve and finds some kind of secret power. After each fight, Luffy and his team get stronger and move closer to his main goal, which is to find the One Piece. Why is it called One Piece? The first part of both the manga and the anime shows that Pirate King Gold D. Roger is telling the truth about the mythical wealth called the One Piece. One Piece is the name of the show because Luffy wants to find the One Piece and become the next Pirate King. One of Luffy's main goals in the show is mentioned in the show's title. What is the One Piece? The answer to this question is still one of the biggest secrets in the series. It's been more than 1,000 episodes, and we still don't know what One Piece is. We know that the One Piece is the name of the treasure that Gold D. Roger collected on his travels because of details in the manga. We still don't know a lot about the treasure, though. There are a lot of ideas from fans about what the One Piece is but we still don't know what it is or even if it's real. The One Piece could just be the friends Luffy makes along the way.